Match day live. This is Radio Hereford FC, the home of the Bulls. It's FA Trophy quarter final action. Immediately, Hereford with a free kick and one of their players down on the field. Nick is not going to be able to shoot from this distance and towards the edge of the air. It's gone straight through everyone, back to the back post again. Cole Finn keeps this one in, out for an early corner to Hereford. A great opportunity from the kickoff. Takes uh, four or five steps back. And will be throwing an arm in the air. No, he just focuses on where he wants to play the ball. Flicks that one in towards the box. It was a low corner, but it managed to make his way in. Bakari gets the head on, but cleared away nicely by older shots all the way out towards the far side and the dugout. I think it's too far away for Camwell to try and strike with his left or right foot. But we will see later on in the game. Cole Finn picks this one up. Tries to play the ball down towards Tom Owen Evans. He picks it on, a, on the right-hand side. Joe Butlin will chase this one in. Poor defending from older shots. And Butlin almost gets the deflected flick back onto his feet. Tom Owen Evans will chase this one to the corner. Back in towards the box again as older shot. Try and defend. And do can see the corner in the end. Four and a half minutes on the clock. Hereford with the second corner in as many minutes it's a sort of partnership aren't they they switch they, are. they switch Camwell around in towards and... the box headed away at the first attempt sorry Frank I'll get back to that in a moment back to Camwell and Hodgkiss again Hodgkiss right footed deflected up high in towards the air back towards the far post and it's latched in Bakare scores fires home from around about 8 yards out on his left foot celebrating towards the left hand corner Michael Bakare it just took a deflection, fell at the right place for him. Five minutes on the clock. Hereford have a 1-0 early advantage. Oh, shot with more defending to do then. Camwell takes a few steps back. He's not going to shoot from here, surely. Camwell, he is going to shoot from here. Straight into the keeper's hands. And Mitch Walker was in the right position. Uh, some beauties of goals so far this season. Throwing on the far side of the shot. Flicked in towards the box and headed away by Grimes at the first attempt. Back out towards... Alfie Whittingham, can he get the shot away? He's back towards Reese, gets the ball in towards the box. Still at the far post, shot taken away. And he's off the side, netting and still in play. I think in the end, it's must have taken a block somewhere. The camera sort of blurred the ball out of the way from Hodgkiss, but clear that one away. Only as far out as OG. OG now taking this one down the left-hand side. Got two men to try and get past it. Camwell and Hodgkiss gets the ball in towards the box clear the click away over towards that right hand side again looking over is um, Michael Bukhari in towards the centre and it's played forward by Jermaine Anderson still loose flicked in towards the centre again and shot loose and played in by Alfie Wilson and cleared away by Harrison good afternoon from all of you that have decided to tune in this afternoon Carl Finn left footed in towards the box plays it up towards the edge Bukhari trying to get onto the end of that one again it's bounced over the top back towards Haynes on the edge of the area gets the shot away with his left foot just drags wide. Did it take a deflection on the way? It did. It will go out for a corner to Hereford as the league title. Yeah. Uh, sponsor. Breaking the run down the left hand side. Tom Owen Evans skipping in towards the box. Tries to get a shot from his right foot. It's blocked away by Lion Foster. And maybe Tom Owen Evans took a touch a little bit too far. At the other end now. And uh, it's play on for older shots as the man went down. John Newell takes this one onto his own hands on his right foot. But he get a shot away. Has he taken it a bit too far this time? He has some blocked. Cleared away by Ryan Lloyd. End to end stuff there for the last minute or so. He hasn't had that many opportunities playing up top at the moment for the shot. And uh, the ball straight back towards Jermaine Anderson, up towards the path of Ricky Miller, as I do say that now. Brandon Hall has the ball down, instead it's gone out for the corner. And uh, Ricky Miller, lovely ball through from Jermaine Anderson to play him on. Keeping up the standards is Tom Reeves this afternoon. Again, it'll be a free kick from OG. Played up towards the far post. Brandon Hall looks as though he's going to punch it. Went to catch it instead and does so very effectively. And uh, opportunity once again for the home side. In towards the box it goes. In fact, it's gone out towards the edge and here's an opportunity for Alfie Whittingham. Gets the shot on his right foot. Brandon Hall looks back and fell wide and out for a goal kick. You've seen older shots take shots now. They seem to be panic rushing a little bit now as they try and get the ball in towards the box again. Played out wide from Candy in towards the box. It's across everyone. It's going to go back over towards Mo Bessemer on the left hand side. Plays this one back again towards OG. Flicks it in towards the box. Brandon Hall runs out of the six yard area and collects this one. 
and goes down to the ground as well and will make sure he takes some time. Opportunity arises again for older shots as the throwing taken up towards the edge of the area, bounced around by Josh Lee, still loose. Here is Beckerman again and it's nicked away by Ben Pollock this time. He's got a bit of time to run forward. Ben Pollock takes the ball up towards the halfway line. He's going to stop now and look for some support. Plays the ball in towards the path of Ryan Roy. Up towards Bakari. Is Bakari on side? The flag stays down. Plays this one over towards the left. Opportunity for Carl Finn this time. Just can't get the ball out of his feet in the end. And a great opportunity for Hereford. It seems to have dissipated away. Corner on this near side. Man of the match from Aldershot has been given to Jermaine Anderson. I'll get your thoughts, Frank, on that. Hereford's man of the match this afternoon after the corner's taken short up towards the edge of the area. Hodgkiss slips over in towards the box. It goes, takes away across the far post and only just wide. It's gone out for another corner. It came off Pollock last in the end. I think it was. Big chance for Aldershot, does it? Yeah. Well, older shot breaking away down the right hand side. Opportunity taken for them that they run forward. Is there an opportunity to arrive? Breaking down the right hand side, Joel Newble now trying to get the ball in towards the box. It'll be his right foot, sticks this one in. The edge, it drops the number eight. Back again towards the path and it slips in. Josh Rees is there. The man who scored a hat trick in the week has got the equaliser for older shot with a minute of added time left to go. And that is fortunate enough to be at the game. Older shot has pulled it level right at the death. Tyrone Evans finds the back of the net. That's the first one in for Hereford. And I can drop down a nice tick. And we'll see an immediate replay of that one. Waited for the referee's whistle. Straight down the middle. And uh, no saving as the goalkeeper went the wrong way. First penalty to be taken. Alfie Whittingham. He's taken some shots already in this game and uh, Brandon Hall opportunity to make himself a hero and almost gets there as the ball is played towards the corner it will be a goal for Overshot from the spot in the end and uh, well almost saved by Brandon Hall and 1-1 uh, in the penalty shootout Next up is Michael Bakare. He scored two goals in as many games for Hereford. Can he score from the spot? Takes a few steps back once again. Left footed into the right corner, sends the keeper the wrong way. And it's another tick on the sheet. Uh, Michael Bakare. Yeah, good penalty. Good penalty. Good penalty. Good penalty. Excellent penalty. Didn't even have to take much of a run up for that one. Brandon Hall and his gloves together. Ricky Miller hasn't found sight of goal this afternoon. Gets a strike again, goes to the same place. And Thomas, Brandon Hall was so close. But uh, older shot, make it 2 2. And Ricky Miller sends Brandon Hall the right way, getting towards his right hand side. And once again, a whisker away. That takes the third penalty taker for Hereford. Jamie Grimes, semi-final place in the FA Trophy on offer for the winners of this one. Grimes turns away from the goalkeeper. Left footed, struck into the back of the net and it's 3-2. It's a perfect scoring of penalties for Hereford at the moment. Send the goalkeeper the wrong way once again. And uh, Mitch Walker been sent to his right-hand side all three times. I think about switching things up, potentially. Next penalty. Waiting to see which player this is. It is the late equaliser goal scorer of Josh Rees. Hat trick against Maidenhead. Scored again this afternoon. Scores from the penalty spot and sends Brandon Hall the wrong way. 3 3 in this penalty shootout at the recreation ground. Listening to Radio Hereford FC in association with Montgomery Waters, the official water supplier to Hereford Football Club. And uh, the nerves kicking in. Even more so. Neither team stumbled on the penalty shootout. Hereford, Ryan Lloyd, number 17, takes a few steps back and with his left foot finds the back of the net. And Hereford take the lead again and put the pressure on, sending the older shot goalkeeper again the wrong way. Mitch Walker having much luck getting the way of the penalties. So older shot with the pressure on. 
If they miss this and Hereford score the next one, Hereford advance through. Substitute of Mo Betamut, who's been lively and uh, definitely a strong player on the field up against Brandon Hall. Neither the goalkeeper saved the penalty yet. It's taken, saved by Brandon Hall, goes the right way once again, gets his right hand side. Advantage to Hereford. So. <laughs> what a save from Brandon Hall, who's, getting the right way. Who's going to be the hero, who's going to step who up? Who is the Hereford man? It could send them to the semi-finals of the competition. Wait for the camera to pick up. Luke Haynes. Can he send Hereford through to the semi-finals of the FA Trophy? He can do! Luke Haynes finds the back of the net. And just like that, when all the top thought they got themselves back into the game, the players went over to celebrate. Hereford are through to the FA Trophy semi-final 2021.